The Silent Operative by Michael Blackwood. And yonder all before us lie deserts of vast eternity, Andrew Marvel, to his coy mistress, 1681. This life's dim windows of the soul distorts the heavens from pole to pole and leads you to believe a lie when you see with, not through, the eye. William Blake, The Everlasting Gospel, circa 1818. My story isn't pleasant. It's not sweet and harmonious like the invented stories. It tastes of folly and bewilderment, of madness and dream, like the life of all people who no longer want to lie to themselves. Hermann Hesse, Damien, 1919. Now go do that voodoo that you do so well. I was able to trace this expression back to a Cole Porter song, You Do Something To Me, 1929. Personally, the muse was Harvey Corman in Blazing Saddles, 1974. Since it is so likely that children will meet cruel enemies, let them at least have heard of brave knights and heroic courage. C.S. Lewis, on Three Ways of Writing for Children, 1952. May my words this summer flow like the rain in my dystopian city. Michael Blackwood, 2024. To the reader, certain liberties are taken within. For example, music is juxtaposed with prose and high flowery noir-esque prose alongside my usual writing style. Tenses and points of view are played with much as a jazz player toys with notes of music. All of this is in the name of immersion and letting the brush strokes fall upon the canvas where the mood pulls and pushes the artist. The author hopes that the open-minded reader will be intrigued by the potential of such a combination of mediums, may be even particularly excited about how this might reveal new insights into a character's psyche. Delving deeply into his or her self-identity within their own POV point of view, or how that POV is expressed, unencumbered in some part by prescriptive rules and customs. The author hopes such a fresh approach could aid in delivering to the reader another way to immerse themselves.